<laughs> Should have scratched my nose before saying hello world. How is everybody? Uh, welcome back. Latest greatest stream. Uh, we're gonna pick up where we left off, which is writing um, a Django tutorial, uh, which uh, should have opened. Uh, I opened the stream notes. Got that part good. Here's a tutorial. And more importantly, here's the actual tutorial. Oh, kept it right where we needed it. Um, yeah, start here for part 10. So what we've got is, oh, all that stuff broke. Lots of different ways. I use an app called Text Expander, and it died somehow. And I had to log out and log back in in order to get it to uh, to come back to life. All right, everything's running again. Let's put that there. Let's put this here. All right, so we're in our Django directory where we're um, building a template. Sorry, we're building a Django site, making our own tutorial at the same time. Uh, and so what I did in the last stream was kind of go through, actually kind of the last two streams, was kind of go through the tutorial as it exists now to figure out the bumps and bruises of it, basically. Um, and so haven't really gotten into the data aspect of it yet. I was just kind of getting everything set up and getting ready to go. I did a little bit of research um, in the last stream where there's two different ways that you can create views in Django. Um, function-based views and class-based views. And I wasn't really sure uh, about either one of them. I, I got turned on to class-based views by uh, a viewer and it was really neat. Like it was, they've got these generic class-based view stuff that does all the main stuff that you would want a CRUD app to do, a create, read, update, destroy, um, or delete, whatever. Um, so it looked really interesting, but it felt complicated, more complicated. So you, you get this functionality out of the box, but the box is a more complicated box a little bit. Um, and so I, I dug around a little bit and found a couple articles and one of them was basically very very much talking about that and it said the class-based views are harder to read and as soon as I saw that I said okay I'm gonna go with just function-based which is I originally did function-based in the tutorial but then I found these class-based things so I kind of messed with them for a while so now I've seen both and my initial impression that I was feeling uncomfortable with the class base and then doing more research on them and also seeing this other article that was talking about it, I'm definitely going with function-based just because it's the more straightforward. Like you can, you can make the connection. Uh, you can get into class-based views, that's fine. Like there's no, I'm, it's not a knock on them for functionality. It's just for, my goal with the tutorial is making it as frictionless as possible or it, reducing as much friction as possible. And there was definitely friction and overhead and mental thinking or mental overhead that went into those class-based views. So uh, function-based views it is. So that's going to require a little bit more work, but I think that's actually okay as well because you get the practice of doing the work. You get the practice of the practice. So we're going to jump into that. Um, let me go find the finder. Uh, wrong place here. Django. Nope, that was the right place. Actually, I should do it this way. Um, bring up our Hugo site. Is that... <sighs> These windows keep getting just a little bit out of where they're supposed to target, but it's not far, it's not giant, so I kind of miss it sometimes. Um, I'm trying to put some borders around it that you can't see, but on my main screen to, to help, but I haven't solved that yet. So I'm gonna be looking for an app or setting up something that basically watches the windows and, and forces them into the right size. Um, maybe, I don't know, we'll figure that out. Uh, but what I was trying to do, oh, I wanna go to BB Edit. Open recent, does this have, yeah, original notes part two. So here was my original stuff. Yeah, so this was doing generic class-based methods.
Figure out where to put this basic URL structure. This is a generic view version. So I went through and did kind of a full run of this. Unless this is the function based one. This might be the function based one. Yeah, this might be the function based one. Okay, I'm just gonna have to redo all this is what this amounts to, I think. Um, so this is function based. Just make sure, yeah. So from models import checklist check item list. Yes, yeah, so that was that was the class based. All right, so let's get back to where we are. So we're gonna go into tutorial. Uh, so from here, we're gonna go SVA, which is gonna set up our virtual environment tutorial site. Python, manage, run, server. Let's just look and see what we got. Uh, oh, yeah, check this out. So this is neat. I didn't know this, but like you can pin tabs in Safari. And like if I close all the windows, but then open a new window, it's still pinned right there. That's super cool. Um, so this is where we are. We've got our home page and about page, which are just generic pages, nothing really happening with them. And our checklist page, which is where we're going to put um, our our new checklist. So that's the first kind of data thing. And then our admin link, which gets us to our checklist items. And here's our checklist stuff. So that's where we're at. And uh, Tutorial site. Okay, it came back up. So yeah, checklist. What we've got going right now is just this checklist views, which is nothing but the base template, and then it says check checklist. And then we went into admin and made checklist items. So we've got our model. Let me back this back up. Um, yeah, so we went through class checklist item. Uh, wait a minute. Is this, no, this is still the model. This isn't the generate the other view. Okay. This is the same thing. It's just saying the full file will look like that. We did our migration in the admin. This is where we made it show up in the admin. This is where we added the string so you can see it. Okay, that's it for the section. So that's where we are, where we can see this stuff. Okay. Okay, and so now Getting stuff to show up on the checklist homepage. And let me also open original notes version null. Uh, I'm about to make a page, quit search since you already got most of it up. Since you already got example page templates created, make a new file called about. Yep, okay, so this is making about. That's doing that. Okay, so we've done that. We can actually kill this. We don't need that anymore. We don't need making our super user anymore. 
Make it the first data page. Checklist. Okay, start app checklist. Door migrations. Got it. So that's basically the same place. Now let's get it to go on display. Let's get a checklist page to show up, which I've already done that because I, I did this in a different order this time. I'm having, I'm making the checklist page. Am I? Wait a minute. Let me see if that's true. Yeah, I'm making the checklist page before getting the, doing the data stuff because I want to go, I want to have all the data stuff together so that we're just gonna go through and we're gonna build the page. Um, first page. So checklist, this, 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 migrate. Oh wait, see this is doing the data. So the full thing looks like that. Make sure string that's. Start off by just making a list and we'll add checkboxes too. Oh, okay. Models, checkbox, that's cool. That is the string. So there's the full thing. Okay, so we got all that. Now let's get it to display it on the page. That was weird. Oh, I guess that was up there. Didn't know. Whatever. Um, let's get a checklist page to show up. Then we'll put our checklist items on it. So we've already done. We've already made this. Checklist views, right? So we should have this. Checklist views. Yeah, here's our checklist homepage, which is better than what we're calling it here. All right. Make a new file, URLs, checklist homepage. Yeah, we got that. Now I just need to put our data on it. Ah, we're getting into actual stuff again. Uh, start with this in views. Okay, so I'm gonna do... Wow, it's been 10 days since I've started this stuff. Sheesh. Start with this in views.py, request index, then update the index checklist. Is that it? That'd be pretty simple if that's it. This in views. I'm assuming that means checklist views. That's the same, right? Yep. Def index request. Now, let's see what we want. I think is this. Checklist items, object, all checks. Uh, let's see what that does. That's still live. That exploded. Template does not exist. Oh, that's possibly because this has changed. Checklist. Uh, 
templates, checklist, checklist homepage, checklist, and block, go. There's your stuff. See, that's pretty straightforward. That doesn't need a lot of the class stuff. I, I granted the class stuff, I'm sure it does a bunch of stuff for you, but. Uh, yeah, so the question is, if we back this out and leave this one in, I'll take that out for a second. Yeah, it doesn't break, so you just have to do both of these things. I'm trying to see if there's a way to make it break, but there's not. Um... So we're just going to do this. All right, checklist items, object all, context. Equals checklist items. Yeah, there's no, like, it's I'm trying to see out if there's a spot in there to, like, make it break or, like, get a different kind of take on it, but. Not so much, which is just fine. I'm going to do this. Django root. Tutorial site. Checklist. Use. Pi. Right. this to this I guess you could I don't think the CLI is worth it. Um, like they did, the official tutorial bounces off the CLI a bunch, 
and it's just I completely lost for me. Maybe... Nah, I don't think so. I think we can walk through it here. Um, I'm going to burn through it right now, uh, just because I want to keep making some progress here, but... Um... Yeah, you really need to do... Yeah, this is one where I kind of got lost. Like, I I understand it now, but this is really fundamental. And I did not grasp it given the tutorial. So this is one of the things that I wanted to, uh, wanted to address. So we're actually gonna back off of this for a minute. And we're going to back off of this for a minute. So that should just be that, right? Yes, good. Okay. I guess we can do that. Uh, checklist use.py, right? Yep. Update. Yeah, okay. Checklist templates. Checklist. Checklist. Home page. Let's 
So what's a good way? Right, that's how that works. Apparently not. Checklist. Item. So maybe you gotta go context.key. It doesn't do the whole thing for you. Maybe. Possibly. Nope. Oh. oh, I really thought that would work. Why didn't that work? I mean, it's the same thing. Okay, let's back into it. How about that? Was oh, that going to do anything? Show up? Nope. Busted. Wait. Why busted? Oh, there we go. Unint oh, it picked up the unindent at some point in there. Checklist homepage. Rough. Show that it breaks. Yeah, okay, whatever. So here. Oh, it would just be key, I think. Right, so that's going to show up. So if we just do key, and then we come back here, and do that, there it is, OK. Yeah, this is helpful. I want to see, I want to see the movement of the data before we start. I don't need to get my head around the database stuff yet. Just show me like, okay, here's because the there's the two files, the the view and the template, but the view is calling the database, which is abstracted away. So there's three things involved, one of which you don't see and that has the data and has the abstraction and has loops in it and this objects call and all this other stuff. So yeah, I like this. Let's take it easy and just pass a value. <sighs> okay. Um, so we're not gonna have that to start with. And this should still be there, right? Yeah. See, this is I, like I'm learning. Like this is helping me figure out how this stuff works too. So, which is the other key point with this? Uh,
So it's funny for me that you can't... That it doesn't explode if you pass, if you call something that isn't there. Durs, Epdurs, Autoscape, Debug. It's a boolean that turns on and off the debug mode. If it's true, the template engine will store additional debugging information, which can be used to display a detailed report for any exception race during template rendering. Let's see if that, where is this? Provision. Uh, Reach Django Tim slit. Django initiates that. If you're using Django templates back end, this is probably isn't the documentation you're looking for. Huh? Alright, let's just look at the settings file. Templates. Aha, context processors. Debug true. Okay, it's already done debug. I'm just kind of surprised that it doesn't choke if you. Call that, right? Dictionary lookup, attribute lookup, it's the first looks up. It's a short search of logic or a few examples. So it's probably worth looking at at some point. template my name person class first name raise uh, we're not gonna get into this I, th I was hoping there might be a neat little just switch you could flick Generally, if a variable doesn't exist, the template system inserts the value of the engine's string if invalid configuration, which is set to empty. Filters that are applied to an invalid variable will only be applied if string if invalid is set to that. If string if invalid is set to any other value, variable filters will be ignored. Strength of valid can be a powerful debugging tool. It's a bad idea to turn on as development. 
default. Many templates rely on the silence of the templates with non-existent variables is encountered. If you assign a value other than that, or other than nothing, you experience rendering problems with these templates and sites. Okay, so where is string is invalid? No idea. How do you turn it on? Class engines. Configure an engine. Is there a way to set that up? I have string if invalid set to invalid my Django template setting. String if invalid. Now it's not possible to get the default filter to display the provided default instead of the invalid string. Note the docs weren't against this, against using string if invalid for documentation. Yeah, okay. For your own templates, I guess you write your own template tag that takes the variable name of the default. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right, now we're going to mess with the settings. I don't know if this is going to be worth it. So, templates, options. Partially, I just want to see if this works. There it is, invalid. Is that worth putting in for the error that it shows you because it shows you where the where the key is yeah I kind of think that's worth doing I'm going to start with that It's fine sometimes, but like not when I'm trying to get heads down. In
See, that's cool, because then we can see this. And then when we fix it, we see the real thing. So what we're going to start with... We're going to request a variable named key. So we got our key in there. You gotta have a little bit of HTML, but we don't have to make it too bad. Right, so if we look at this page again, not that page, look at this page again, here's what we got, and then invalid call. I just want something so it's you can see a string leading up to it, and then so you've got like a reference of here's instead of just floating in nowhere. So here's what we got, and then invalid call. So the other thing we want to do is just because we know render this will just help us down the road. Oops. Oops. Double oops. Double oops. Ungood. Here, 
here's the next one. Oops, crap. There's a bunch of these. Uh, this might be getting close because there's a context call. There we go. I just want them all set up because I want to add this down on a new line and I don't want it to come out of cope. Like I want it to look the same. What's funny is I'm going to go through and like make much more concise notes for me on all this stuff that'll just be like the dick, 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 but the, I don't know, it's, hopefully this will burn it in my brain a little bit better, though probably if I just would have gone myself and just like made my own notes just for me, I would have been able to spend much more time, like I've spent hours on this so far, I would have been able to put those hours into learning it more than building this. So overall, I'm thinking probably not the best way to learn about it. Um, interesting experience, though. Um, and I definitely... So this part, though, definitely is is worth it. Because I wouldn't have gotten this approach. A-L-U-E. L-U-E. Um, going the other way this this might actually make it worth it just in general just to kind of get this full thing about like okay here's the context we're going to start with nothing but a key value like you can just pass a dict and then i didn't put it in the right place let's actually put it in because if we put this in here this should show up but it ain't what did I do? Just had to think. Okay. So we should do something better than key value. Here we go. When we request key, we get, that's better.
clean all the rest of those up later. Oh, I'm gonna have to highlight all this crap. Oh God, this is gonna take forever. Oh, this is gonna take forever. All right, I'm probably gonna start talking less on this just to make some more progress. So that works. Value two. Call this value one. Call this value two. Oh, exploded. Mm hmm. Why not? And context is not defined. Yeah, that makes sense. Why didn't that work? Does that have to be on the same line? No, it's on the same line. Equals? No. Oh, unindent doesn't match. I don't know which one it was. Well, now what's going on? Okay, work. There we go. Oh, Python. Oops, we want the whole thing, aren't we? So if So what's the best way to do this? Um, checklist items item one item two item three so now we're going to see invalid up here right yep but if we do this, what does that actually give us? Said, I'm just gonna kind of burn through this like I'm getting kind of where I want to make progress on it let's call it keys 
even though uh, we should go back. We should call this item and then call it items. So it's fine. And example item. change item to items for clarity. thing yeah grab the whole thing okay cool you come here See, I like this a lot better than just throwing all that code out there. Like, cause the... Like, it just starts with like, hey, just do all this and then do this and ta-da. just gonna do item because it's just a string at this point which is awesome and also we get rid of the rest of that break a lot better.
Oh, I should have done this. Items equals this. Freak out. Okay, no. I don't know why I'm not doing the whole file. Render. That's nice. I like that. It's a good look. Load up items, put items in a context, put context in render. That's good. I like that. So you get that. Now we can loop over them like this. Actually, no, not this time. think this works, right? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Indentation. Thought that might be the case. Which way does it light? Oh, that's a tab. What? Tab size four, misspelled word. Why? Using spaces. That's what it should have been this whole time. What's going on? Oops. That's inconsistent. Has this whole thing been doing 
Spaces, and then using spaces. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh well. Please work. There you go. Yeah, that's way better than just like, bloop. Yeah, so there's our view and there's our template, okay. You know what I should be doing is breaking these things into different pages. Um, wait a second. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. sitting here not being right back. Does that have multiple spaces? Yeah, look at that. Does that could work? Look at that. Be right back. Be right back.
Question, question, question. Does Sunkist have how do you spell caffeine? No, oh, does have caffeine. I should probably stop drinking it. Crap, it tastes good. All right, there's our stuff. Um, yeah, I need to, so I'll break this apart. Um, So what's the best way? Well, so one thing I want to do right now is new file. Django three tutorial linking checklist. Uh, yeah, save. Ooh, I need to write something. What am I looking for? Index to markdown. I don't know what that's going to do to my blogging engine. Uh, give me one second. thing. Oh, good. The camera's not on my fingers watching you type. I was just writing an entry in my journal saying uh, I might forget to write an entry in my journal, but I don't want to lose the... Um, it shows up a little check mark for every day that you write, and I've got a streak going, so I don't want to lose that streak. Alright, now we're good. Oh, caffeine. Oh, well. Bad idea, but it's quite good. I need to find orange soda that doesn't have caffeine. Also, diet wouldn't help because it's probably loaded with sugar. 160 calories. Eh. Uh, all right, so we got this. Now what we want to do is build our links to... Uh, okay, let's go through and figure out what of this we can take out. So this is what we just did. And that's what we just did. Again, it was like all that stuff. And it's like, sure, you can work your way through it, but like, walk me through it. Like, you, you have to type all the same stuff. And I'm not looking to rush. I'm looking to learn. Um, Okay, I can hear myself breathing in there. That's why I was checking. Definitely need the pop filter. Okay, I'm probably in buy, buying that other mic. Um, Mozilla test models we found a way to run and manage test. What? Uh, doesn't really use this for your reference. Skip the next item. This example kit with failing test.
This is how you do a model test. Create an object. Checklist, make this words. Expect to make this work. Okay, we don't need to do that yet. Move the object creation into its own function. Set up test data, checklist item to test. Checklist item has no attribute, it's done. Oh yeah, so this is... Okay, I like this. We'll go to this in a minute. I wanna get the links working first. Show the is done. Have this in the proper, yeah, we need to do get object or four four render. That's the tests. Okay. Next, set up the checklist item to point the individual checklist so that you can see the first error, so you can see the error messages, or message, whatever. Making the forms. Well, I wanna get the links going first. Um, which is kind of a bummer, because I don't have notes on how to do that, so let's dig into that for a minute. Okay. <sighs> So somewhere I forgot where to put this. Django basic URL structure checklist checklist one. Generic view version of this. Figure out where to do this. This is detail view. Yeah, so a href equals So here's from models get all the objects. Okay, and so let's just do this for a second. Um You know what we should do is put a pre around this. Yeah, look at that. So, uh, time 120-ish. Work on building links to detail pages. Uh, I like this pre, you don't have to deal with HTML. Uh, 
we can get rid of that one. This one we want to keep up. What I'd like to do is move that. Oops, that didn't work at all. Can I move that into here somewhere? There we go. Figure that out later. Um, of course, we are going to want to switch it to see them. Just add ID. Oh, can you do? I wonder. Is it full on? Does that work? Can you do a full? Is that like full on Python in there? Nope. Cannot parse the remainder. Cannot parse the remainder item from der remainder. Thanks, der. Whatever. It's fine. that one in a different place. And I want these two together. The reason we're seeing the string is the SDR method. We added a while ago. To see the ID, just do this item ID inside the tags. HTML. Uh, actually, a href equals whatever that. Does that work? It does. We're not going to rely on it though, because that could be different. You already got it.
Might as well have this full thing in here. All right, start our checklist app. We definitely have that. Let's make our model. We've got that. Migrations, we've got all that. We have an admin, register it in the admin. I refresh the page. We do our string so we can see it. That's the full file. That's it for this section. Creating checklist display page. Yeah. Include checklist URLs, right? We got it. Create the URLs file with Django import paths. Import file circles. Yeah, see, I didn't want to have the name there. Error, yep. Add that to the views at this point. Template doesn't exist. Template, run that code. Adding the list view to the generic class method. Not sure if you want to go this way. Yeah, this is the generic view stuff, which we do not want to go that way. Like that's just in the views from Dango views list generic import list view. Okay, that makes sense. From checklist models import checklist item. Okay, got it. They make a checklist item view, which is a subclass of list view with the model of checklist item. And then we get the content data of a class method with keywords args passed with a context of super dot get context data with keyword args passed return the context. Like, okay, I can process through that with a lot of thinking. After you've done it a bunch, it'll be there, but like on an initial look, it's like heavy. And it doesn't have to be that heavy. Adding list to the checklist page without using generic views. This is what we just did. Yep, and we did it better. Um, checklist, checklist items for content, context, whatever. There's our block, checklist ID. So there's our list. That's where we are right now. I have links, but they won't work until we make them next. Okay. Figure out where to put this. Yes, yeah, so. Checklist, checklist one is what we're going to make. It's funny, we're getting back to, so th there's like a few hours worth of detour in there with those class views. Um, not angry about it, like that's how you learn it. But that's where we spend a few hours, so. Um, This is the detail view, Aaron browser. Okay, yeah, so, so we got our page not found. So that's basically where we are. All right, next step, add this to URL patterns. Checklist, URL, URL patterns. Views, checklist, item. Okay, I like that. Uh, do we want to call this checklist D? No, checklist item ID. Yeah, you've, you're doing the checklist item. Okay, that's cool. I can get behind this. Just because detail was used in a bunch of the other terminology. 
um, exploded. Invalid syntax. What? Oh, how about a comma? Now. No attribute. Okay. Now we're back in it. That's our new error. So model checklist views has no attribute checklist items. Che checklist item. Actually, wait a minute. Does that? Does that really go on the models? Oh, mod module, not models. I was, yeah. yeah, right. Checklist views doesn't have anything called checklist items. So make it. Uh, there's, whoa, 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 whoa. How did I jump that? That was weird. Tab size four, why is it? Is this not set to default to spaces? Translate tabs to spaces. Set to true to insert spaces when tab is pressed. That has been fighting me for a while. Uh, PQRSTU, they aren't alphabetized right now, but, oh, actually, you know what? We can fix that. Because we wrote this. Which didn't keep tabs particularly well. That's okay. Hopefully nothing explodes. All right, let's see if that makes things better. There's some spaces. Checklist. Yeah, I like this. I'm not angry at this. over here.
Oh, we just fix that. Uh, we didn't because it's got to be over here. Tutorial site, checklist, templates, checklist, checklist item. Missed by one, two. So we got that. Now we're gonna to want to add that back in here. I'm just gonna start burning through the stuff that I've got just to get it in this thing and then we can go through which clearly was what happened about this same time last time too this views yeah this would be views right like this. stuff uh we didn't actually call it there we go we're gonna change this to item Yeah, that's fine. I 
Ooh. Oh, yeah, because we didn't actually update it to call item. Mm, no, checklist item is the right way to do that. I need to fix that. Checklist item, checklist item, checklist item, checklist item. Item one, this is the first. All right, that's your display. So that's got our view. Oh, I need to go back and see. I think I broke this. Yep. Checklist homepage, checklist items. Ah, checklist homepage. For checklist item and checklist items. Checklist item. Checklist item ID. All right, let's see if we can figure out the URLs. That was one thing that I didn't actually do. And yes, you'd collapse all this stuff down, generally speaking, but. Um, So on our homepage, we're doing this. It's in our URLs. We should be able to do checklist. Name equals checklist item. So, what's the URL syntax again? Where's my base template? That'll help, base template. Checklist, checklist, item, hmm. Checklist item ID. All right, hang on, let's go through this and delete the stuff that we can get rid of. G 
Checklist views. All right, we're good through this. Get through checklist item. There's that, and then we make it show up. Now work on the edit. Excuse me. Put link on individual pages. Yeah, see, we need to find URL checklist item update. Checklist item ID. Okay, so you just pass that, I think. Nope, it was outside of it. Checklist item not found. Is that better? That is better. Those work. that uh where are we going the refresh there we go and then urls gets to him. See, the trick is this is a lot of work and the generic ones, maybe not so much. Ah, see, I keep bouncing back and forth on that. I need to go through a run with the generic ones and see how it's going to go, but I'm gonna finish this one all the way straight and I'll actually mess around with it, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Cause I kinda need to spend time with both of them to really kinda figure it out, but I don't know. This feels like the better way to go through it, I guess, cause I'm learning it. And like I got a pretty good idea how stuff works. Um, like all the app name and the this the first few times that didn't click. Uh, okay. Uh, one fifty three thirty. So we can put that in there. Uh, getting edit pages to work. See, I mean, there's a ton of stuff out there. <laughs> I get it. I just, 
I don't know why. It's the same thing. Like, don't... Like, actually... I don't know. See, that's just a lot of code to throw. Update. Function called upon displays a form that is pre-filled in. Student objects get ID from student form. So only to the create form, you should now be able to update the student record in the database. Instant student object with ID, populate the form from a oh, form equals student form. Where's student form to set up? That is the first reference to it. There's only three form, student equals student form, student equals student form. Is that built out of Django? That seems kind of crazy. Uh, whatever. Okay. Um, Yeah, I want to build this, I think. Oh, God. Now part of me wants to go back to these class-based views because I'm just looking at all the stuff you got to do to do... Um... Like, you got to build your own edit stuff. You got to blah, 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 blah. We're going to do it, though. I just want to... I want to finish it. We'll do it this way, and then we'll try it the other way, and we'll see what the difference is. Table of content sounds like a good place to go. Whoop, where'd it go? Write in a minimal form. Raise a 404, use the template. Write views to actually do something, removing hard code URLs and templates, namespacing URLs. Okay. Part four. Let's update our poll template, polls details. From the last tutorial, so that it contains a form element. Okay, so this is my. Well, so they're they're different too. They're not editing. They're. They're putting a form directly on the details page. I want to put the form on another page. So path slash vote. I'm going to, I'm going to try this and see if I can do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make an edit page. And this is also gonna help me see if I can figure out what to actually do. Um, so here's our checklist item. Oh, uh, where's our URL format? 
So we're gonna add this for yeah. I I like this. So checklist. Edit checklist item ID. Let me just use the word edit here. This is gonna explode, I think. Yep. Yeah, this will be good. If I can if I can walk through this, this will actually mean that I've kind of have an idea of what's going on. Um which will mean this has worked. Uh, make an edit page, create an edit page. Cool. Got the edit or got the edit link. Error in the browser. All that mess. Fix. It's not a valid pattern, so we need to make it a valid pattern. So, oh, wait, which page is that in? That was in. We go all underline there, whatever. Fix. So there, checklist urls.py, add, Hmm. I'm just wondering what the URL structure normally is in terms of the actual checklist, checklist one. And then would you do slash? That would be like, I need like an end of the string thing there. Yeah, we'll just see what this does, but this may not be the best way to do this. Oops. So we're going to do that slash edit, edit checklist item, edit checklist item. Broke it. End of line while scanning something literal. Okay. Whoa, it's all that mess. I don't know where that came from. Work, 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 work. Something's broken. Oh. So the URL polls vote question ID. Yeah, see, it seems like it should be this. And then views 
All right, so let's put that in. Checklist item ID. Why didn't that work? Edit checklist item, checklist item ID. Edit one. No verse match, checklist one. Reverse edit checklist item with arguments invalid call, not found one. Patterns tried. Okay. Wait, I don't have a template yet. How's it doing anything? Edit checklist item. Use edit checklist item. Aha. I'm gonna do that. There's our browser error. We're kind of getting used to this. So we need this file to exist. Did one too many checklists. Checklist, checklist, checklist. Just do that. Let's see if we got it. Control C, go, boom. Probably maybe worked. It's a directory. Oh, ha, oops. That should have been a touch. Not a make -der. Come on, come on. Oh, power. Whoops. Power. Power.
There we go. Oh, you know what we should do? I don't know if this is getting a little fancy. Yeah, I do like just seeing it, seeing it there. It's like, okay, we got it. Now we can put the form in it. So if something explodes in the form stuff, you know that your at least your file is in the right place. All right, form URL polls vote question method post. Now let's create a Django view that handles the submitted data and does something with it. Remember in tutorial three, we created a URL for the polls application that includes this line, polls vote. We also created a dummy implementation of vote. See, that's the thing I don't like. They keep like jumping back and forth. Yeah, polls three. Results. I'm not gonna worry about the structure of the URLs right now. We'll refine that later. For now, we're just gonna get all of this stuff. Whoops. If error message. So I kind of don't want to put that in yet. Like I want it to explode if it doesn't work. Um, templates, edit, here we go. Oops, that didn't work so good. So what's going on? Cut, down, paste, up, flip, go. All right, so checklist, update checklist item. Checklist item ID. Now let's just see what happens. I think it's going to throw errors, but that's okay. Sweet. So we're going to start simple.
water. Eh, whatever, have a little water. A URL error. It's not a valid view function or pattern name. <sighs> they have it. Have it after. Oh, whoa, 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 hang on. Wrong one. Polls vote question ID. Yeah, no, they've got it. Question ID slash vote. Yeah, they've got it that way. So it feels weird to me without explicitly dropping this one off in the mix. Um, they put a slash at the end of that? They did. Oh, I guess it would have to match the Full pattern? We're going to leave that for a minute. That's probably going to break something up in here, but progress. You're sending to the name and it hits that path, which then calls this function. It would be cooler if these were, I don't know, reversed, but that doesn't make sense, but you could call them explicitly. I don't know. It's fine. Like it all makes sense once you get there, but like just looking at it for like, Hey, how, what would be like, if I was going to redesign this without knowing anything about it. Oh, uh, update. That's all we need to call that. Not there too. There we go. So that's telling us. Views, there's no view for this. Let's 
going to pass a request and of that. Let's get returned nothing. I don't know what that's going to do. Page not found. Because we updated it. Checklist one, edit. Checklist one, edit. One of these, I still have. Item, item. All right, let's actually read the error message. Reverse for, oh, okay. So that's in the form page right here. Starting to figure it out a little bit. Reverse with arguments and valid call, not found when patterns tried. Oh, because we're not passing the context of the checklist item. That checklist item's empty. I am surprised that I realized that that fast. That is a good sign. So we need to pass the context to the edit. So in our views, We just need to do this. But I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Okay, I'm in the wrong place. That's the full one. Yeah, we can uh, leave it open for now. Checklist item, checklist homepage. Where's my edit? That's the full file. Make an edit page. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, it's not doing anything. And if we refresh, it should ask about posting again, right? Oh, no, it didn't. Crap. Why didn't it? Oh, because we're only on the edit page itself. Oh, 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 oh. that was just getting the form to work. Uh, yeah, see, I don't like that. It kind of makes you jump. Hmm, I don't like that. We're going to hard code it. Busted here. Whoops. Module views. So views. Wait, what? Oh, 
Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, so... <clears throat> so we actually don't have to worry about that. We're passing the context, so that's showing up. Except it's probably not with that, like that. Let's try that again. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, this is where you gotta like build your own form stuff. Ugh. Yeah, checklist, checklist ID, edit. Yeah, so that is the way they're doing it. I didn't put a slash back there, but we'll see how that goes. I need to make a call on that here soon. Edit, get reviews, template. Ooh, that resonates nicely across that whole thing, doesn't it? Well, so this is probably it. Let's see, this would have already required checklist item update to have been created. Which I don't see having been done. I don't I don't think that would have worked. I think that would have broken. Oh, here you go. Yeah, so let's do it. Okay, 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 okay. This isn't bad. Let's do this. And just see if that renders. There you go. Also, we're going to definitely want the ID there. Why didn't I have the ID? Oh, because we're passing the ID in the URL. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Cool. I just have to copy my the notes I did originally. It's really all that I've needed to do for the past two hours, but uh, I'm learning much. Edit the browser, edit, check. So we can explain if I go up front, yeah, sure.
I almost deleted a bunch of this stuff. I'm really glad I didn't. So now's where it breaks. Here. Nope. Ah, there we go. So this should be the same thing, right? Reverse match. Checklist three, edit. Checklist item update, okay, yeah. Which I actually wanna call update checklist item. And spell it right this time. Fix. Which is already in there. Whoops. That's still busted, right? Girls there. And now we see the error in There, okay. for a while we've had it for a while um checklist has checklist yep start with a redirect before editing the data item get that with that checklist item checklist text equals the post and then you save it reverse checklist item or checklist checklist item url args checklist item id gotcha
Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Checklist item update. I was on the edit page, so we still have a bad name here somewhere. It should be update checklist item. Oops, we should make sure that that's good here. Hmm. I updated it there, but not on the page. Now what are you gonna do? Hey, look at that. Checklist update text. Oh, I kind of thought that was going to work. Accept and value checklist update text. Request, post, checklist, update, text. I feel like I did this last time too. Item, edit it. Hey, look at that. So let's definitely put that in since that was the key. Collapse all this stuff down. And I'll leave that one open because it's got enough space. I say do this, but it just seems tight to me. Sorry. Actually, I do kind of like those down.
that's fine, that's fine. That makes that a little easier. It's still that weird comma, but whatever. Oh, that's where I left it last time. I spent so long doing this. Oh. Alright, I feel like I want to do something else. That's a lot of time. Like, I, I got back to the same place that I did, but, like, I understand now what's going on more. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah, we could do here. Let's, let's do this. Uh, first, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh... First, so actually, we'll do that, and then I'll be right back. Uh, I need a. Hey, it's a different order this time. Oh. Going with that.
caffeine free. Uh, caffeine free. Probably can't read that. Caffeine free. I don't know who the batter org is, but we're following them on Twitter. Also, yeah, look at that. This is my new favorite site. Now you can follow the way what's happening. Oh, he's a Python person. I'm not used to this, but yes. Hello, copy link, net news reader, wire, whatever, net news thing. Which I haven't looked at it in weeks, but. I just want to see, oh, maybe he only, oh wait, there you go. Oh, it goes to your inbox, I see what it is. Oh, interesting. I'll sign up for that, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. That's awesome. Uh, Whoops. Wrong place. What is it by default? Hello. It's weird that the star is off. Maybe, oh, I wonder if it's, if I'm messing with it because I've got my font so giant for the screen. Oh, but it is. Okay, whatever. We'll leave that there, in case we need it. So... I don't know, I've been here before. Um, so we need to create... So we're reading it, and we're updating it. So we need... so. C, R, U, and we need D. So we need C, D um, to get a full crud going. Uh, it can't be that bad. All right, we'll just, we'll work on create. How about that? 
Um, Where's the template? Yeah, and so error message would just come across at the top level of the context. It's funny that they don't do a context here. They just throw it straight in. So it's a little bit inconsistent too. Or that is inconsistent too. It is not a little bit. It is a binary and it is. Um, Okay, um, yeah, okay, this is kind of funny. Um, so it is going over to the views. That's cool. I want to, I'm going to, I'm doing the same thing. Um, I wouldn't have switched it though. I would have like made one and then blown it away. And that's what I'm doing. Like I want to, I want to see the full thing. Um, but we'll explain that up front. So let's also make sure to put that as a notes. Uh, whatever. Yeah, so we've got, so this is read. So we read the homepage, we read that. Edit brings the box up, update does the update. Or we need to create. They don't actually show you how to create, do they? Class users, models, string, yep, okay. Create an object from app models, from app models, users, managers, Django class model. Wait, what? Managers? A manager is an interface, approach the database, query operator. Oh, God.
Let's just leave that open so it's in the notes. Yes, that's the difference. I can't believe there's not... I don't think there's a, an example of this. No, I still don't want to talk. model def create because we didn't see yeah we didn't see that in the tutorial everything they did was just through the uh, command line or the admin interface and a method on a custom manager usually preferred that one. For example, let's give our book model a manager method title count that takes a keyword and returns a number of books that have that. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Still no. But how do you... <sighs> I want to like this framework, but it fights me. Create a new instance of a model. Initiate it like any other Python class. Got it. Instantiate it, whatever. Keyword argument of the names of the fields. Note that instantiating model in no way touches database. Database for that, I gotta use save. We have attempted to customize the model by overriding init. If you do so, however, you take care not to change the calling signature. Got Mozilla. Creating a skeleton website. I should just go through this. This is a series of tutorials. What will I do in this one? Can I see the whole thing on one page? Catalog, okay. Made a catalog. Yep, got See, this is weird. Sometimes it tells you to do stuff differently. Specifying the database, time zone, URLs, URLs. Testing the website framework. Running the website. Uh, 
Don't worry, is there a space expected? Because you don't have it, yeah. Like, that's a lot for a start. Model. Class. Create a new record using the models constructor. Record, model name, blah, 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 and save it. To create a record, you can define an instance and then call save. Searching records. But it's not showing me in code how to do this, or not in like. I mean, I got a pretty good idea, but like. Since I'm actually still kind of new to this, I would like somebody to actually show me. Oh, they're not going to do it all through just through the admin, are they? Do this. Save. When you're done, you can press save, save, add, save. Yup, nope. We need the word save to show up because that's how you actually add something to the database. That doesn't show up in there at all. Doesn't show up there at all. Whoops. Make sure it's true. Nope. Saving session data. Nope. User auth, I doubt it. Users, user, object, or users, object. Okay, function, import user. Create user and save it. Yeah, which we wouldn't want, I mean, that's fine. Nope. Ah, look at this. It's for renewal. Just say screw it and go back and do uh, the other views. So this does the form. Selected choice, save, yeah. But it doesn't show you how to create a new one. Unless that's... Next, we're going to remove our old index and use Django's generics instead.
we should just use the generics. Are these class detail view, generic dot detail view? Generic detail view, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna play around at this point. I almost made it that far in the tutorial, but I burned out on it. That's too funny. Uh, all right, we're going to do a whole new thing. We're going to see what's going to happen. I don't know what's going on there. Tiny font. Actually, that's what it normally is. Just on have this thing blown up for the stream. Um. Hmm. See, part of me wants to like. Why wouldn't you put the virtual environment inside the same directory or inside the directory? Oh, because you got to build it. Got it. Okay. That was in my head. Um, change their look and feel tools. Not the type of tool we're working for, looking for. Just call it Launchpad 2. 
for Launchpad 9000. But I need a place to hold it. I guess we're going to put it in Woodshed. Whoops. Um... Actually, I guess I could put it... Yeah. I'm good. I can just call the site site. So, make their launch pad 9000. Let's uh, let play some other names. Um, oh, go oh, command and conquer is what I was thinking of. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting back to doing like stuff. I may kinda just bounce on this tutorial thing. Like it's a, I put a lot of work into it and I'm not sure it's gonna be worth it. Uh command cannon. Ooh, her power. Like what's another room for control center? War room? Should I call it war room? <laughs> okay, nope. Two words. What's another word for... War room. Rom. Or rom. Word Hippo. Maybe my new favorite site. Command Center, Control Center, Mission Control, Nerve Center. Launching pad, firing table, platform has some potential. Staging. It's getting close. Could just call it local host. Um, I could just call it Nexus, that's the name of my site, or it's the name of my machine, which may be an OPSEC that I've just left out. Um, yeah, we're gonna call it Nexus. I actually don't know how to send Django, send stuff over to it. Um,
All right, pip install. This is why you have to do build your virtual environment parallel to your site because you've got to install pip or you got to install Django, which you can probably install it, delete it, and then move back in. But I don't know, that seems weird somehow. And one of those things that feels like it should work, but that may eat you at some point. Um, got it, pip install Django. So here's, ah, see, and this now we got to get into the, like all the production stuff. All right, we're just gonna go. done. Cool. Uh, all right, so we got the server up and running. We've migrated. We've done that. Uh, all right, we're just going to build the home page hardcore this way. Nexus, where'd I put it? Did I put my... I did. Oh, okay, whatever, it's fine. I just want to have two terminals up. So we've got our pages. Get all this junk for now. Uh, so we're gonna open that in Sublime Text. Settings, fire up our pages. Installed apps, run server, no module name pages URLs. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I do need to do this this way. Add that? Is that what it is? Why does that seem different? Tutorial site, tutorial site URLs, which would be Nexus, Nexus URLs.
Oh, you do need to add that. Okay, I got it. Change. But there was no import path. module name pages URLs. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. So there's our pages. Run server. No module names pages URLs. All right, we're here. that yeah see now I just want it to be done <laughs> ah did the wrong freaking thing uh new save go go save Pages, urls.py. And we're just gonna do this straight. Name, oops. Name equals, so like I'm not, actually this is nice because I understand what I'm doing now. Um, I think it actually did it this way, nope. Pages. Home page and views. Oops. Module name pages URLs. What? Thought so. Uh, URLs. We're in the, that's the top level, right? Right. Path pages. Now I just want to do this. Template doesn't exist at page's homepage. See, this actually makes it worth it all the time that I've kind of put into this. Because um, I've got, I now understand what's going on. That was a heck of a way to do it, but. Home page. Home page HTML. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. Just make sure it doesn't need a re redo. It did. Okay. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. Uh,. Okay, so we got a home page. So now let's make our base template. I guess we'd actually do it. Huge Gmail. Base HTML. And 
then home page extends base HTML somehow. What's the syntax for that? Extends with those things. Uh, I need to add the uh, the template in. Template doesn't exist, base HTML. So that is in settings for the main thing, which is here. We look for templates and then there's a dir. And we need to make it look like that. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. See, look at this, it keeps popping up. Why does that keep doing that? Do that. Oh. Ooh, I exploded it, but good. Pretty sure that was exactly out of my notes. going on unsupported opera oh, oh 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 I'm not in uh... environment got it now we're in the virtual environment so if we go back into I don't even remember what I called it oh Nexus Django site and then manage run server okay that was supposed to have fixed it No, that's actually how I got it out of the notes. So I was confused about that too, especially because it's not working. Um, the it was trying to do the base. I th think it was trying to do a base dir, like as a directory, not as a division, and like that worked. Actually, hang on a second. I've got another. Um, site that I was messing with. I'm sure I'm going to look at it and see immediately what I did wrong or different, but we'll see. Settings. Exactly the same thing. Like, all right, whoops, wrong thing. So copy, paste, literally the same thing.
That's so weird. See, that makes sense to me. OS, the OS join. I'm gonna take that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you got an. Is it OS already in here? Yep. Okay. Um. Sure, it does. Oh, is it? Oh, it's path join, maybe? There, yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. I, it confused me so much how this worked. Like, that just looks so wrong, but like, and let me actually just see if it, if I was hallucinating horribly. So that was in here. Oops, got to get the virtual environment up. Uh, where am I going? I'm so tired right now. It's going to complain because I already got the port in use. Yeah. But see, it works there. No idea why. Uh, Django 312. Django 312. But I like, I like yours better, like way better. It looks like actual code instead of just a weird slash hanging out there in the middle of nowhere. Um, so thank you kindly. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and so I've been messing around with this tutorial for a while, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing it because uh, I'm trying to learn Django, but it's been a lot of time on it. So now I'm just kind of hacking through it a little bit to mess with it um, and see what happens, basically. And then run into crazy stuff like that, apparently. Um, all right, so this should work now, right? Sweet. Hi, it says. Uh, and now we're going to pull. Not that. Um, extend base HTML block, which we aren't calling the blocks yet, but we can do that in a second. There's our old one. We can get rid of that. Settings we don't need. Extend space. We can do that. I don't remember the syntax of base. Here you go. Put in a block like this. Let's see what that does. There we go. Got it. So there's our basic stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna do any CSS right now. I'm not gonna worry about links to other things. Um, oh, I can do, yeah, so let's make the, uh, checklist app up here. Get you over there, Crass, so I can see it. So we can see what's going on. Nexus. Activate. Nexus. All right.
Uh, we're gonna make checklists. That's what we want. We're gonna throw our app in the installed apps. Which is under settings, installed apps. Oops, did not copy it apparently. Don't do it like that. Uh, just do the app name. Oh, as in this? Cool. Thank you. And it's weird because I saw that I was looking at a Mozilla tutorial and it did that. But the official Django tutorial has all the rest of that stuff in it. Um. Oh, okay, so it loads... See, these are not things I picked up from the uh, official tutorial, which is why I was kind of going through trying to make my own for me so that I could learn this stuff, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, you want to be able to use the other stuff in your app. Okay, gotcha. Um, that's handy to know. Uh, I'm going to add that to my notes. My lots of notes. I guess I could make, uh, yeah, and the other way that I was doing it that helped me figure it out. So the official tutorial just threw a whole bunch of stuff at you and then something magically worked at the end. I was kind of going through breaking things and then fixing them and breaking them and fixing them. Um, so you'll see the order of this is going to be kind of weird probably if you know what you're doing, but that helped me get my brain around how to actually do it. Um, so if some of this, so if my notes look in a weird order, that's uh, what's going on there. Um, okay, something did change in the versions because this is not. Was there? It's doing using a regular expression and starting at the start of the line, which is not how it worked in the other tutorial that I started last week, or the other site that I started last week. Uh, how do you get the Django version? Previous version used regular expressions in the URLs, but recently they switched to paths, which is not a regex. Did I install a weird version then? I mean, I literally just did pip install Django. Uh, what was it? Django dot version. Does that work? Three one two final. All right. I want to see what's the. Three one two is the latest. All right. That's super. Something's weird.
Because the... Oops. Three, one, two, final. It it says it's all the same, but something changed. Like I kind of don't care, but like, I mean, right here, that's different. It's a reg X. Apparently, it worked. Well, does it work? I don't know if the server's up. The server's not up. Uh, I'm gonna do a run server. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is me. This is where I was breaking stuff. Um, Three one two. No, the fault URLs are still in regex format, like you see there. Just overthinking it. Okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, well, what got me? And let me see. I may be going crazy, and I may have just missed it. But so I just built this other site last week, but I'm fairly certain it did not have the regex. I might have just looked at that. I'm getting a little loopy. Um, Well, so I made this. Oh, I touched it on the 18th. Never mind. Um, tutorial site URLs. Yeah, when it when it built, it built differently, a week or so apart. Um, so that that's what's throwing me a little bit. Like things are just kind of. Going bath. It, it's good to know that you can use regex, though. That's good. I like that. Um, I'm a little hesitant on the path stuff in general, but I really like, like, I do regex stuff, or I've done regex stuff before, so I'm like, I have confidence in that, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyways. Uh, but yeah, so all kinds. And then that other thing that we saw with the template, like, that changed in the past week somehow. So cool. And actually, I want to see because I think I got that straight from their tutorial. Uh, we're looking for a baster. Okay, so it's not there. There's probably an error up top, too. The default value baster that. And I'm like, I'm not worried about this. I'm just curious about this. No. Nope. Because I don't know where I got it from. No. Nope. I don't know. Ah, whatever. Who cares? I hate Red Regex. Yeah, I can appreciate that. I I've done it for like twenty years, and so I I only know like this much out of all of Regex, but like that little bit I'm comfortable with. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll twist your brain if you're not careful. Um, well, yes, yeah, quite possibly. Um, so I did. Oh, I wonder if it was on the Mozilla. Ah, who cares? I don't care anymore. Um, but one of my big problems was I was working with that official tutorial and it just wasn't clicking in my brain. It just didn't go. Um, and so then I kind of was looking around a little bit, but then I was like, ah, screw it. I'll try and it, so I take notes when I'm learning stuff. And I thought it'd be interesting to try and like take notes as if I was building a tutorial um, or making the attempt to build a tutorial. But now it's just like I've kind of I think I may be over that. Um, Coding for entrepreneurs. Okay. That probably didn't auto cut, did it? 
Oh. Is this the dude who makes like five minute? I may know exactly who this is. Nope. Different person. Because there's another one that I saw. Uh, oh. How to, whatever. Let's see if this guy shows up. You all. There's another guy that I saw out there who did some pretty good, just like quick five minute hits. That was nice. I can't find it right now. It's I've got a link to it somewhere, but um Oh nice. Yeah, I uh I'm really kind of just getting into back into like writing code. Um There you go. Software and automation. I have seen this guy. Of the present as well as the future. And me personally, I believe Yeah, I've seen that guy. I like I he I've run into so him and then there's a couple other folks that I've seen. I wish I could find that other one. Uh, this looks likely. Yeah, and so I've I've spent hours going through this when I and it was just like bullheadedness. I should have just sat down and like watched a couple hours worth of videos. Um, but like I kept running into videos and things that were like eight years old, and it was just like, I, whatever. The, it was the official docs that messed with me. I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, and then they just completely didn't work for me. Um, but it's it's fine. I like I I I've got my head around it in a decent amount of way. Um, but then there's the other thing of like doing like the generic views or whatever, uh, which I haven't really done yet. So that's going to be kind of the next thing I mess with, but I'm not going to. So like, whatever I took all these notes and all these things. And like, I would have done maybe a third that amount of notes, um, getting stuff in my head but I would have done it much faster and quicker and just kind of bounced around and found it. So this was me trying to like, Hey, what if we actually tried to teach this? But like the amount of effort that that's taking has crossed the threshold of not worth the return on investment right now. So that's probably going to go by the wayside. Um, Oh, there you go. Yeah, apparently makes videos. Oh, okay. So you do functional like you do. So and let me make sure. Let me ask a question. Uh, so through the stuff that I've seen, they kind of make a dis or some of the tutorials make a distinction between class based views and function based views. Are the and then I've seen class based views called the generics. Are those synonymous or are there class based views that aren't generics um because like i saw this uh these um and so i'm unsure about these um because what I, the i'm going through and actually building you know my functional my yeah my functional versions um of all this stuff because i wanted to understand what was going on um and then i was but i was like ah if these are super easy who knows so oh, okay gotcha um 
Yeah, so that's actually reassuring to hear because it was like one of those like I, I was sitting there and I was like, um, some of the code that I was looking at for for class based views was also a little bit like it felt like it took three different steps around to get where you were headed. And I was already trying to learn this stuff and I was just like, ah, uh, this function stuff is much more straightforward. I can I can get my head around that. Oh, Django REST framework. I've heard of that, but I've never actually looked at it. I'm assuming I spelled that right. There you go. Whoops. Don't close it. Nice logo. I like, so one of my biggest things that I like about Django is built-in auth stuff. Don't know any of those. So it's the basic idea so it's a REST framework. So would you lay something not Django on top of it? Okay, gotcha. Nice. I will definitely look at that. But yeah, I'm not it's baby steps, right? Start start at the start. Um, though I, I will say it, I'm actually really glad you were telling me that about the generic views because I was like the the official tutorial I was bouncing around it and, and they just hit a part where it's like hey you've done all this function based stuff but now let's show you how to do all the generic stuff and how you really want to do it and I was just kind of like and it didn't make me I don't know I just got me all hung up a little bit so um so what do you do Grasner like what's your what's your stuff I used to program in Perl, so I'm familiar with you. There is one. Uh, in a modernized cleaning company. All right. I don't totally know what that means, but it sounds interesting. What do you What do you mean by modernized? You lost me on that part. Need to get chat where I guess I could just make smaller windows up here. Oh yeah, I guess I could do that. I'm still figuring out this Twitch stuff, by the way. I've been doing it for like a month or two, but like it's still very much a work in progress on how you're doing it. Or how I'm doing it, whatever. Oh interesting. Right. So the Right. You took the words right out of my mouth. That's super interesting. Um, yeah, so then you probably actually get back to your customers uh, as compared to several of the small businesses I've worked with or tried to call. And then three weeks later, they haven't heard back from them. And then four weeks, they call you and like, hey, you still interested in whatever? It's like, no. That was four weeks ago. I'm good. It's been taken care of. Um, yeah, no, it's... I, I'm really... I don't know. I've, I've always wanted to like Django, but it's fought me... All the tutorial stuff has fought me, but I think I just haven't gotten my head in it, and I think I'm getting it, so... Nice. The... Uh, so did you how did you get into the idea of that was that like 
you were, or were you scratching your own itch? I guess is the way you asked that question, right? Or was it just something that like you saw an opportunity out there and was like, I think I've got this. Let's see what's going on here. Whoops. No ones can live. Checklist URLs. Move to a small city. Wow, that's awesome. Congrats, man, that's very cool. As a, another fellow dropout college, college dropout, I salute you, good stuff. Um, has been an insane right? Yeah, I can imagine. The, uh, I kept hearing how dirty people's houses were, that's, that's just kind of amusing to me somehow. Like it's, it, I don't think it should be, but it's just kind of like, ah, dirty house, dirty house. Nice, yeah. Well, hey, look, I know. Okay, so I'm just some random dude on the internet, right? But if you've got a thing going and you're working on it, and you're doing pretty good with it. You're probably doing all right. Like, um, and. I've known several people, including some people who are actual professors who talk about the the varying worthy, worthiness of a degree these days. Um, it, it's not, I'm not one of those people who's like, ah, it's worthless or whatever, but like those questions are more asked these days and I think they're good questions to ask. But if you got a thing rocking, man, do it. <laughs> um, that's a good, that's a good run. Yeah, so <laughs> three. So only wait, only twenty two now, or you were twenty two three years ago? Are you twenty five or are you twenty two? I guess I, I'm unsure. Either way, it's still awesome. Yeah, twenty two now. Wow, nice man. Own your own thing at twenty two. I think you're gonna be all right. Um, there's not really an advice I can give you other than I, no, I got nothing, man. I don't know. That's awesome. Uh, I'm super impressed that you're in your own thing. I like it. Uh, and apparently you do. So are you do, is Django like what you rock on your, for your business stuff, um, for doing all the booking and all the, I don't know, back office or those aspects. Definitely gonna make a somehow get chat up here so that gotta look into OBS. It's gotta be a way. To, I, I know there's a way to do that. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it on the screen. Nice. I don't know that word. I'm going to look up that word. Am I gonna see porn if I look up this word? That's your, this is your robot. Yes, right here. What is that name? Like that name's not, like I get that it's your, your robot, but like, where did you get that name? Or is Mo, 
Mowgli like like Mowgli just spelled differently. Mowgli. Never saw that movie. I mean, I saw the cartoon one, but whatever. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. That's really good. It it's always amusing to me and like whatever. I get caught with this too, but sometimes when it's like, I, I think I'm talking to a robot with this interaction here, right? That's what's happening. Nice. I can see that as a butler robot. I need a butler robot. Or three would be nice. One for the weekend, one for the weekdays, and one for the office. I don't know. I got nothing. Um, not that I go to an office anymore because, you know, pandemic quarantine or whatever. Um, that's super cool. So how did you get into Django? Did you, I mean, like, were you, how did you get into Django? I'm not going to ask, a, I'm not going to ask a leading question. I'm curious to see what your uh, path was. Oh God, that sounds kind of gross, but like, what got you into it? How'd you get into it? Uh, no module name checklist URLs. All right, I think I can fix that while we do this. Circular doesn't like that. Figured. Wait, that's for paths. No, checklist homepage, that's right. Apparently closed everything. And the Great Purge. Nice. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so having one of the things when people ask me like, hey, I want to get into programming or development or whatever you want to call it. One of the things I always try and ask is like, well, what do you want to do? Because if you got a thing to do, you got a really good shot at it. But if you don't have a thing that you're trying to do and you're just trying to kind of get it abstractly, your odds go down. Sure, you can do it. I don't know. Maybe most people do, but like having a thing and then being like i want to go i want to go make this happen dig in and figure it out like that to me is is the way to do stuff so i i'm not at all surprised to hear you say that um which is why i didn't want to ask a leading question about like what did you want to get into um yeah automation so good um have you messed with any of the uh the amazon stuff the like the Amazon Web Services stuff, AWS, whatever they call it. Cause like that stuff's also interesting. Like the Lambda functions and some of the things like that. And then just all the processes they have underneath there. Um, if that tickles the automation part of my brain, looking at especially like the Lambda functions and all the stuff that can just float out there. Um, 
but I don't, I haven't, we do some stuff with it at work, but like not a tremendous amount. And it just feels like one of those necks, like, ooh, there's some toys to play with. I should do. I think there's an OBS wood. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're doing the other work, not the dev work. Yeah, that happens. That has happened to me. One of the reasons I'm doing these streams is to do to like give me a reason and a purpose and then also some amount of uh, like push to go do coding stuff. Um, because I don't do it nearly as much in the office anymore as I used to, um, which it's fine. I, that's not a complaint, but I would like to still be able to do it. So here we are. Uh, ah, whatever. I'll look at this later. I'm just thinking. So I'm watching the chat. And I I just reset all this stuff up uh, yesterday, but realized I haven't actually set up for like how I want to get the chat on here. Um, and still be able to see I, this that we're doing right now might work okay. Uh, I'd probably switch sides though, because yeah, that's probably a little better. Whoops, I can look at the screen. Yeah, static files. Yeah, the S three stuff is cool and cheap storage. Um, but no, the it we do some with some stuff with it at work, like I said, and like it's crazy because you can get what ten years ago was hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of services for like thirty bucks um, because you only turn it on for the hour that you need it. It's really it's kind of incredible. <coughs> Not kind of, it's incredible. Uh, what am I doing? I have many a tab open. Actually, I'm going to slide this off to the side just so I can mess around a little bit. I can bring it back in and out. Uh, so actually when I actually want to... Oh, wait. Actually, it should be this, right? Because we blew it up. Uh, is this alive? No, circular. Don't go circular. Circular bad. Oh, thought we put that in. Wah -wah. Take two. I wonder where I put that. Because I thought I put it somewhere. Checklist views has no attribute homepage. Okay, we can fix that once we get to the right place. Oops, it's not gonna like that at all. Also, I did the wrong, totally the wrong thing. Too many different languages. So this should pop the uh, not having a template. Oh wait, we already have the template. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> languages, they don't care. It's fine, they'll figure it out. Machines are very flexible in all they do. Uh, what are we doing? I'm super loopy, y'all. So um, this is going to go sideways quickly. But 
We'll see what happens. Uh, we got Hello World going, though. And is that... Uh, nope. Where's our top level templates? Okay, yeah, so that's calling it. Nice. Checklist. I don't have templates there, though. How is that working? Oh, that's the homepage. I got it. That There's what doesn't exist. That's what I was expecting. Uh, templates, checklist, which I think works if you do both of them. Sweet. Uh, we're going to cheat. Totally. Because I still don't know the syntax off the top of my head. Checklist. Checklist homepage. Anything come back to life? No. Uh, templates doesn't exist. Okay, I goofed somewhere. Where did I goof? Let me just make sure it's not one of these. It is one of those. See, sometimes you have to restart the server and sometimes you don't. That was one of the times that you did. Uh, but also, let's go back here, because is that really calling the base? It has to, right? Yep. Website. You show up. There we go. Okay. All right. Got a homepage for the checklist. It's cool. By cool, I mean there's really nothing there. Um... Oh yeah, do an admin, sure. Get us a thing built. And we might as well do this one for real. Make us a password, but hopefully nobody can see. Server probably needs to be on. Turn the server back on. Funny, I thought it was longer than that. Uh, cool. So now we're going to make our models, right? Yeah, I'll just do the model. Okay. So do I want to have anything else in that right now? Um, no, so this, yeah, for this checklist, actually, I'm not going to turn stuff on and off, I don't guess. Yeah, this will be fine. We'll do that. I'm going to put just actual checklist. So the thing that I'm going to do is I've got like this Twitch checklist for getting stuff fired up. But like these boxes don't do anything like and if you reset they go away so it's just kind of a one-off like hey here's a series of things to do check them off um so there's no like this doesn't have to be complicated at all uh let's see what we got stream labs so let's add in we got our model now we gotta do our migrations. I'm gonna start typing some of this stuff just to get my fingers. Um, am I in the right place? Yeah. Python, manage, make. Is it autocomplete? 
does. Sweet. Good. And also you can just do this, right? Manage, migrate, there we go. Uh, cool. And I go to the admin page. And we're gonna register our stuff. Like this. Whoops. And now we should see that. Sweet. Uh, set monitor to 1920 by whatever. It's probably the wrong number. Got it. And then we're also going to want to go into our models and set up so that we can see them as a string. Like so. And we got a string. Cool. Now let's get them to display. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do any of the invalid call thing because we're gonna do this the other way. Yeah, and this is my step-by-step -step for the tutorial. I'm just gonna jump to the end because that's really what we wanna see. Um, Yeah, so we're going to need to add, we want to add a context in here to our view, right? And then return the context. And that context actually is going to be a call to, uh, where am I going? This one. I'm just gonna grab it from down here, somewhere. This. And I'm still. Checklist items. So we'll set this to that and then pass the context. Let's see if this actually still works. It does. Actually, can I pin that one too? Pin tab. Now we got two of them to work with. Nice. Uh, checklist. Checklist item is not defined. Oh, missed one. We got to call that from models. Is that right? I think you gotta call it from models. From dot, imp, no, from, I don't remember the syntax. Let me find the right sublime text. Scan for this really quick and see if I can find it. Nope. Base, there's that. our items we're gonna loop through them Ooh, yeah I didn't do something right here because there needs to be uh... you got to call it somehow there's your item yeah oops I gift in the, in the directions goofed it's like goofed but you know different uh, let's bring this back in. Django tutorial site, open that up. And our example checklist, uh, what are we looking for? Be views. Yeah, dot models, okay. It was something like that. See if this comes back to life. There we go. So 
saw dot models in there. Yeah, I, I found it. Oh, you just saw in the directions. If only there was some magic way. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Yep, I blew past it somehow. Whoops. Wait, that's for the admin. That's the admin still. Oh, yeah, so here. There you go. I talked about removing it, but I didn't talk about actually putting it in. All right, so that's there. So now it's actually good stuff to show up, which I'm doing this completely out of order of the tutorial stuff. But um, again, the tutorial is kind of for me to get my head around stuff and I kind of have my head around stuff. So this is part of it, just going through and uh, and seeing if that really is the case. Uh, so we're gonna need to go to our, this page. Oh, I don't remember the syntax, but um, this is just going to dump everything, right? Nope. Key, hey, brush. Ooh, didn't like that. Okay, why isn't that showing up? I thought that would show up. Oh, I know why. Because you gotta call it hey. Let me find the right editor. And then the right page. Now we should see something show up, right? There we go. Okay, figured it out. So our contacts back in there. Because it's not called context, it's called checklist items. And that should dump. There we go. And then I think the syntax is this, right? Uh oh, I don't know what the end is. I can probably find it here. In four, okay. Eh, I would have goofed that. All right, let's see what this does. There you go. And so let's add another one. Look, something else. Let's make sure everybody's happy and showing up. I guess we can do something to make them, you know, their own lines. Why not? Oops, I like there. I like there. There we go. Okay. Let's link them to edits. Which starts on this page. There we go. Um, so we got the IDs. So I just want to go ahead and jump to uh, the full URL stuff. So we're gonna add the pattern. And we're gonna go ahead and give it the name. checklist item and we'll close it so you know it works so that is straight right so 
So it's gonna explode now over here. Whoops. Too many tabs. Yeah, checklist item, checklist views. Okay, right. So it's telling us to go to views. And then we need a checklist items. Checklist item, excuse me. And then I had it. I go back and forth on, like I've seen a bunch of stuff that has explicit, like checklist item ID or PK for the primary key, right? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go explicit. I like it. Right, so we're just gonna drop nothing back particularly. Whoops, come here. Server's alive again. We got some links going. We haven't hooked them up yet. We actually have to hook them up. Hooking them up. I think this is syntax, right? URL. I don't remember the syntax at all. Probably to blow past it eight times. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna steal that right out from there. Right, URL, checklist is the app name, checklist item is the path type, checklist item dot ID is the parameter we're passing. So that should be it. Is that gonna go to checklist one? It does. I just need to put something there. Uh, that's a template, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, new you. Here is the item, which we'll put in a minute. Checklist, simple checklist. Checklist item. There we go. What do you think? Here's the item. Sweet. Now we actually want to put the stuff back in there. We've already, okay, we already got that set up. Oh, so this is, oh, this was just gonna be the generic display page. So, uh, what do I have in my views that I'm passing back? Nothing. Interesting. Probably want to do something. How about we do this and actually pass some data back in a very weird way. There we go. And then that should give us, yeah, see here for this example, Oh, PK is what you actually pass. To as a named parameter, huh? Hmm. No, I still like I still like checklist ID. I, I still like the explicit. That's cool. I like it. Uh, but now we have context and in that context we have our checklist item which means we should be able to pull out our checklist item which should have a string attached to it so we should maybe we should put this in survey says Hey, we win. Look, something else. Cool. Nice. Uh, make an edit page. First create a link. I 
Here in the browser. Yeah, so this is... And I don't know if you've heard this spiel before, but like I was working to kind of internally create a tu tutorial, but I was going by breaking stuff every time and then fixing it and breaking it instead of doing a whole bunch of things and then seeing if something worked. Um, so these directions are weird in the way that you might actually work. Um, but that wasn't really what they were designed for, or that wasn't what they were designed for. But now I'm kind of working on it, so I'm having to, I'm, that's why I'm bouncing around a bunch and it's not really a, a straight uh, go. Uh, checklist URLs. Okay, so, yeah, we can do it this way. That's fine. Um, so, on checklist item, right? Yeah, we'll just do it this way. Watch it. Boom. Watch it go. So, that's going to blow up here. No, wait, it didn't. Now I'm confused. Oh, there we go. Because there's no URL that matches this, right? Which is expected. So we're going to add that in the URLs and we're going to grab this to do that. And then error should change because now checklist views doesn't have edit checklist, right? Uh, here's views doesn't have edit checklist, but we know we're going to make that. Here's our checklist. What'd you do? You came back to life. Did you come back to life? Yay, edit. Doesn't work because there's no template. Now I make the template. I'm not going to try and remember the syntax right now. Uh, edit checklist item. There we go. There's that, got it going. Now I can actually come in and steal from our homepage to get all of this. Here's our edit again, add that. Edit the item. Make sure that's hot, that's hot. Uh, Do we already put in our view, whoops. A little sloppy. Okay, back off the home page. I gotta close some tabs. Model's not gonna change for a little bit. Admin's definitely fine. Views. So edit view. Yes, we got contacts. We're passing it in. So if we just dump that, make sure we see it. Look, something else. It worked. Yeah, so we got our template. Oh, now we can actually do all this. So that we get a form box up there. Yup. And now we're gonna break it again by putting in the URL call.
It'd be interesting to try and rerun this stuff too by... Well, I, I like this idea of like, have, have a thing break. Like I like doing something and then seeing a change, whether or not that change is like something turning on or something exploding. Like, I just, I'm not a fan of like, edit these three files these six different ways and then look at the end and see if it worked. Um, like a little more, especially when I'm newer at stuff. Like after you've done it for years, like sure, that's fine. But like, I'm not there yet. Uh, so reverse means it doesn't have, it's not in the URL. And it also helps me learn, like seeing the errors is how you learn, right? Um, so we're going to add our update. path which is going to explode differently because there's not an update view item in the views which is good it's starting to get a hang of this and again we're just going to grab it we got to do these first because we're doing the redirects and the uh, I forgot the other one is to have those properly save it everybody's happy over here everybody's happy here did it work hey it worked Yay. All right. Um, where am I going? Yeah. Important. File should look like that. That's got it. Um, put in an error message. All right. So that's the run. Um, next steps are... Uh, so we've, we're reading it and we're updating it. So out of CRUD, C-R-U-D, create, read, update, destroy. We've got, we're missing create, we've got read, we've got update, we don't have destroy. Um, but like it's in, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, and talking with Krasner earlier, like I was looking at possibly going over, I, was, I got seduced by the generic views that um, Django was talking about in the official tutorial, um, especially after kind of like I've burned on this a three different, a few different times and like clear, like whatever. So there's 300 lines and here's another 1300 lines. So I got some work in this and some time in it, but I'm kind of getting ready to not be doing this anymore. Um, but I'm t took a little bit of a break, took a little bit of a thing back and talked to Krasner a little bit. And it's like, you know what? I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna get it all kind of knocked out and lined up. Um, I'll take a look at the generic views next, um, but I wanna I wanna get a solid run through this. And because I'm like, you know, just burning through that right there, it's like, here's the methodology. Like, that's really the thing that I'm after, right? Is like, just do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, and you get this. Um, I want the understanding of having that or understanding how all those parts happen, which is the purpose of going through all this. But now that I'm getting there, I'll, I'll refine this back down into like, hey, when you want a list page, do these three things. And when you need to make an update page, do these two things. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of where we're at. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for tonight because um, work, unfortunately, calls in the morning. Um, I was got to take Monday off, but just didn't happen. So um, but thanks a lot, y'all. Take it easy. Have a good one. Be kind. And we'll uh, we'll see you next time.